hello. Got some peeps coming in. Excellent. Hi there. How do I? Oh, there we go. Not now. Perfect. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So today, I got some notes here. Got some water. We have three lovely Android devices to show. One which I'm wildly excited about. It literally just came in 15 minutes ago, which is red hydrogen. And this baby's beautiful. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit, but super exciting. Just get that guy going. Okay, that's shooting now. And then we also have the Google Pixel XL and the Galaxy S9 Plus, the Note Plus. Um, nice pink. We would like to get the nice pink option here. And on the Galaxy, we had to add a little weight here. Hugh put the tiny little counterweight on so that we could move the phone out far enough that the kind of center mounted camera didn't catch any of the Movi. Uh, it's a little pro tip from Hugh. But anyway, so we have Android to talk about today. I am not an Android expert. I spend most of my time using iOS, so bear with me if I do dumb things and look like your parents uh, while doing this today. But I am super excited about some of these devices because of some of the imaging features that they offer. Um, so right now, if you're not up to speed, we have the first version of the beta for Android for the Movi app out in the Google Play Store. You can download that now and it's got uh, just basically majestic mode for people. But very soon we will be having uh, a more essentially full featured Movi app. Um, uh, this is an alpha right now internally and we'll be releasing this potentially in the next couple weeks if testing goes well, but it has everything from Echo, Movi Lapse, Time Lapse, Orbit, Barrel Roll, Smart Pod, um, kind of feature com comparable to the existing iOS Movi release. So it's got all the nice little features for a window, all the different methods you can use, which is really nice. So uh, it's very exciting. So this thing will be available for people who are brave and want to beta test sometime in the next couple weeks. Uh, we're testing it right now internally. It's working well. Um, We'll just be gaining confidence and see if we can find any issues with it in the near future. And if not, we will shove it out into the world. The Banji's right over there working on it. Um, so I thought we'd talk a little bit about specific devices. Uh, any questions? Are counterweights needed for iPhone XS Max? <laughs> I don't think so. Do you have one of those, Hugh? You have one at your desk, don't you? Yeah, no problem. Should I grab it? Sure. Is, where is it at? Let's go. Let's take a walk. That's right. Uh, next to the wheels. Over there. I got it. I got it. Don't shoot. The alpha wheel. So we can balance that real quick. Excess max. Hopefully it works. It's used, so of course it's low battery. Um, pop that guy in there. Yeah, it balances right about there. It's pretty close. And then we're live, we're going to camera mode. So you can see XS Max balanced on, we're not getting any part of the Mobi in the, in the frame for photo or video which is nice, looks to be working well. One thing that's cool to note on the new iPhones, the optical image stabilization does work much better than the old version. You still can get artifacts and bounces and stuff like that, but it's much improved from the old version, from the original X. So I'm gonna switch back to Android on that. Oops, wrong one, Pixel. So, did I put him backwards? Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Balance it. All right, so I wanted to talk quickly, 
and specifically about this. This is super exciting. If you guys haven't seen this yet, let me show it to you. So this is the red hydrogen. Uh, we just got a demo unit to play with for a few days just to make sure it works well with the Movi. But the team there was nice enough to share this with us. Kind of first impressions are um, it's big, it feels very substantial. These scallops on the side make it really easy to not have it shoot out of your hand while you're using it. I've literally played with it for all of five minutes at this point, but things I really like, I love the mechanical shutter release for the camera. That is so nice to have. It's so much more pleasing to press a mechanical button than to tap the screen to take a photo. Um, I'm really impressed. Let me... When you go, one thing that annoys me about the iPhone is how sensitive the optical image stabilization can be. And when you, you can see I'm tapping the hydrogen, which would usually upset uh, phones that have optical image stabilization pretty severely. But I don't see any artifacts that are annoying in the hydrogen footage, which is really exciting. Um, so that's great for Movi use. I think we're going to get super stable imagery. Um, Resolution looks great. The screen's really nice. Uh, I have no idea on kind of the battery life yet And I'm you know, like I said, I'm pretty slow at using the Android operating system still so I need to dig in and get better at that but so far super exciting. I'm just super um, Interested in having a camera on the Movi that can shoot as high a quality as possible so that I can use smartphone for more and more and more percentage of the kind of the filming that I'm doing rather than bigger bigger heavier expensive cameras I'm shooting a bunch with Movi Pro this morning and I got to tell you it's a lot heavier than this setup so um, and then to see what we what it took to get hydrogen to balance I did this ultra quick just before the live but I put a counterweight on there and two of our bigger counterweight um, weights and this gets just about perfect balance i probably need a pan one a pan weight on here but i haven't had time to get that done yet so we got one question uh question when i put the moment lens on my iphone and use the counterweights i hear on the footage the motor from the movie is that normal uh, i'm guessing that your movie is just over tuned so if you reduce the tuning in the app configuration try Try putting it in a low tuning, see if that helps. If that uh, sounds fine, then bump up to normal tuning. Then you can bump up to high tuning. Also make sure that these are all tight. Uh, and not hitting the motor. Oh yeah, and not hitting the motor. Sometimes you can get these in orientation when where it's scraping on the this housing as you're doing this. So make sure that these are really nice and tight. Um, basically like to, so you understand what's happening, the structure between the phone and these gimbal motors, everything needs to be as tight as possible, as stiff as possible, because this is trying to make, you know, many, 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 you know, a thousand corrections a second. So any type of slop or play or looseness there could cause buzzing or decreased performance. So try and make sure everything's as tight as can be. Um, what else do we want to go over on Android? Uh, I think in general, the thing that excites me about Android is there are so many different um, equipment manufacturers that you potentially get uh, big innovations in hardware for you know for example we're seeing a lot of really interesting moves from different manufacturers with respect to camera imaging you know reds entering the game with their device so you're going to see all kinds of different uh, skills and and background that they bring to the table um, you know we shoot on the big reds all the time so the idea of having that you know I don't know if it's exactly the same team, but members of the same team with the thought thought with the same thought process designing uh, a device that'll fit in your pocket is really exciting because we can just you know the better the imaging capability gets for our ecosystem, the better for everybody. Um, you know, there's cool. It's cool to see competition and innovation. We got like crazy curved edges on the Samsung device, which I have no idea how they even manufacture. It's great to see all the different, yeah, I don't know, just different innovations from the different hardware manufacturers on Android is fantastic. Um, should we go over that? You want to go over the modes? Yeah. For people that, yeah, Android users that haven't ever experienced a movie. 
Okay, so let me walk you through them. We have Majestic, uh, which is kind of our main mode. Whatever, basically in this mode, wh whatever I do with the handle is gonna translate to smooth pan and tilts. And we have different options here. We can set the response to slow, medium, and fast. That's weird, it goes slow, fast, medium. Banji, did you know it goes slow, fast, medium? Uh, I didn't know it goes slow, fast, medium. That's weird. Okay, uh, and then we have window, and this, what window does, really nice animation there, Banji. Uh, what window does is it, it defines how much movement you can have that the Movi will ignore. So the narrower the window, it means that no matter what I do, it's going to precisely track that movement. And then the wider the window I go, it's going to ignore a certain, set, a certain section of the movement. So it allows you to get very smooth, like dolly-type shots, you know, for instance, let's say I'm, I'm skateboarding and I know my hand's going to be moving a bunch, but I don't want that to translate to, to motion in the footage. I can use a wider window and it'll remove any of the movement that might have happened there. And then we have tilt lock and roll lock. So basically tilt lock um, locks the tilt, also uh, allows you to position it. Roll lock, when you go roll unlocked, you can... Is this guy not connected? I kind of think I disconnected it. Here we go. So that's how you connect to the Moby, in case you're wondering. Um, but when you go roll lock, so when I go like that, roll will stay level. And if I go roll unlocked, Am I connected to a different Moby? Turn okay. Can you move away? Excel. This is probably user error. Okay, so showcase what I was trying to do. So roll, when roll's locked, it's gonna keep roll level no matter what I do. Unlock roll, and now I can adjust roll manually during my shot. Uh, one other thing to bring up is, go back to roll lock so it levels the roll off. If you wanted to shoot portrait mode for any reason, like Instagram stories, whatever, you can just roll the Moby 90 degrees and it will reset um, to portrait style as the native horizon. So all that takes is just rolling the Moby 90 degrees. It'll flip over and figure itself out. And if we keep cruising through some of the modes, if you go to AB mode, um, basically what this allows you to do, set up an automated quasi motion control move. So let's say I want to go from there to there and I want the shot to take 12 seconds. You good? You need something? Oh. Okay, keep going. Okay. So here comes a here comes an echo mo move. So you can see it's executing a nice smooth stable shot completely automated and you can do this um, from a stationary uh, position or you could do it while moving so I'll use this shot quite a bit I'll wait for you to get up and run any more questions uh, when will the main release for Android system is this the latest version of the app uh, so this version that I'm showing today is a, in, an alpha release right now. We'll probably roll it to a beta release in the next couple weeks. What do you got going here, yeah? <laughs> if you guys could only see what Hugh has going behind the camera, this is epic. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... You good? I think so.
Okay, I just want to showcase uh, reset. I want to showcase echo while moving. Oops, I'm still rolling. So a fun echo shot to do is to go from the ground to level. So I love this one because you can film footsteps, that kind of thing. And then just as you're walking, it's gonna execute the shot perfectly. So as an example for that one, it's really tough to walk and do a perfect camera move at the same time, but using echo, you can have, you know, kind of a motion controlled pre-program type move where the robot is handling it. Perfect. You know, the robot using the gyro and accelerometer in there can command this perfect tilt up. That's perfectly timed and perfectly smooth. This camera looks good. So Moby Lapse, um, what it does is it takes and slows down the pan and tilt rate by about a factor of 10x so that when you cover huge distances of time and space, um, when you play it back, the pans and tilts look like they're the appropriate speed, but the world is moving at 10x speed. So you can set the compression. Right now I've got compression set to 10x, uh, and then you can set how slow, how slowly you want the response to go. Um, for pan and tilt and then you just go through move through space. I love to do it like walking around a city um, There's an option to speed up the pan and tilt when you need to like let's say you have a 90 degree corner You need to do something like that. You can use this option. We have called reframe um, So you can see so I'll film a quick one and show you guys So we'll cruise over and we'll film Banji. 10x might be a little fast for inside the warehouse. So look at this guy working away. Curve back around. be a really quick one but it'll show the idea. This probably gonna be a pretty bad one. Not now Google. Not now. So the idea is it allows you to compress huge amounts of time and space to create these new interesting effects. We call them Moby Lapse. So it's like a moving hyperlapse essentially. It's pretty awesome. Um, so time lapse. Time lapse is very similar to the echo mode that I already showcased. It allows you to pick an A, P, a point, a B point, set the duration that you want to shoot between them, and then the compression that you need. So you can pick different compressions for different type of things. If you have clouds moving quickly, clouds moving ultra slowly, that kind of thing. Um, there's different settings that work better or worse for all of those. And then we have orbit. So orbit. So you can you can set it up. I've got it set up to orbit left right now. And then you can adjust the speed so that you know if we were orbiting around Rory, you can keep him perfectly in the middle, orbit or I'll around. orbit around you. you go the other way. I can go the other way. Hold on. So what this is doing is keeping a perfect speed and allowing me to match that speed. So we end up with a really nice orbit shot. And all of these modes are just actuated with the main uh, trigger on the Moby. 
and then maybe my personal favorite, but barrel roll. So with barrel roll, you can set a speed and a direction and it will execute an automated roll move. So I've got it set up to a speed of 10 and clockwise. 10 looks too slow. So let's go up to 40. So you can see it's doing that roll move on its own and I've just got to tr keep up and follow along. I should probably record. And the end effect is this really cool shot where you're rolling perfectly smoothly through space and you still have majestic, full majestic control, which is pretty fun. Okay. And then I think the last one we have is SmartPod. So let's cruise back over to our table. The pixel's sharp. Looks good. Get a backlit. So SmartPod just allows you to set the Moby down. Moby's got this nice uh, over-molded rubber boot, so it's a lot of grip. You can hear it kind of squeaking on the table there. When you set it down, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. Um, and then SmartPod basically just turns all the motors, motor drives, and electronics into a really fancy tripod that allows you to precisely position wherever you want and leave it and know that it's gonna stay there. So if you don't know how Moby works, it's got a roll motor, a tilt motor, and a pan motor. Each of those motors are brushless direct drive motors, so nothing can wear out or get damaged on them. Uh, and then they have a little encoder that tells them where they are in space. So as you move them around, the motors are providing torque to hold the phone right where you leave it. The encoders know exactly where it's pointing in physical space. And there you go. You can leave it there. Good for photos if you want to take a group photo and it's tough to get you know a lot of times I'm propping my phone up against whatever trying to get a shot of a group this is nice you just plop it down off you go Hugh uses it a lot to check his deadlift and squat form so he'll be in the gym squatting and want to make sure his forms are on point he'll set this up squat right here good to go uh, what else what else do we want to talk about I don't know I'm mostly excited we're going to sh go shoot a short piece with the hydrogen over the next couple of days. We'll post that up. I'm really excited to see how how that baby does. Got to figure out how to use it. And what else are you excited about, you? Do you think your kid, a question for you, do you think your kids will switch to Android as a ploy to get around the screen time measures that you've enacted <laughs> for them on the iPad? I think it's highly likely that they would try that. Yeah. I could see Jet with the hydrogen playing like, you know, Pikachu and holographic Pikachu. That's true. Yeah. He would like that very much. So we got Pixel XL, Red Hydrogen, love this guy, and then Galaxy Note 9 Plus in pink. They all work great with Movi. Uh, we love them. The full featured beta version of the Android app will be dropping in the next few weeks. Uh, any more questions? No more questions? Did you see anything, Cindy? No? No more questions? All right. We're going to sign off. Q and I are going to go create a short film with hydrogen. We'll be back soon to show it to you.